One of the most talked about pieces of legislation this year in Georgia was the heartbeat bill. That bill moved the legal line for abortion from 20 weeks to six weeks before many women even know they are pregnant. While the bill states that life begins at the heartbeat around six weeks, it allows abortions for rape and incest until 20 weeks. A point those opposed to the bill took issue with saying if a fetus is truly a baby at six weeks, it would not be an exception. And if, in fact, this was nothing more than political pandering, you could not have exceptions to the abortion ban based on who supplied the egg and who supplied the sperm to create the embryo. You all know that. To me, they're all a child. So all I can do is go back to where we say life ends with the beating of a heart. Now there is a national bill to ban abortion across the country at 20 weeks, and it has strong Georgia and South Carolina ties. Atlanta Bureau Chief Ashley Bridges has this story. This proposed abortion ban was sponsored by Senator Graham and co-sponsored by Senator Perdue. It was presented to the Senate Judiciary Committee this week, and one of those speaking against it, one of the same state senators who made a very impassioned plea against Georgia's heartbeat bill. Graham's bill is called the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act. It seeks to limit abortion across the country at 20 weeks, regardless of state law. It would make performing abortions punishable with jail time. Georgia State Senator Jen Jordan testified against this bill, describing her own seven miscarriages and saying that though she mourned those, that doesn't change another woman's right to choose. And I have grieved each passing, but no matter my faith, my beliefs, my losses, I have never ever strayed from the basic principle that each woman must be able to make her own decisions. In consultation with her God and her family, it is not for the government to insert itself in the most personal, private, and wrenching decisions that women make every single day. Senator Graham's bill would make exceptions past 20 weeks in cases of rape or incest or when the mother's life is at risk. But that's that same contingency that opponents of the bill here in Georgia took issue with, saying that if a pregnancy were truly a life at a given point, that doesn't make sense to them. Reporting at the Capitol in Atlanta, I'm Ashley Bridges. Back to you.